So when you have chronic stress over these things, it's understood that you don't ovulate. That's the impact of stress on our bodies. Chronic stress, repetitive stress over and over again, make it very difficult to conceive because your body is more inclined to push down towards this pathway in your adrenals, pushing towards making cortisol. So you're going to take where progesterone is supposed to be and your body's going to try and convert that to cortisol as quickly as possible. So you, you don't ovulate. And then when you do ovulate, your progesterone is being bioconverted to cortisol at a rapid pace and progesterone is necessary to maintain pregnancy. This is why a lot of people have a difficulty conceiving when they are under high stress. This is also a reason why people under high stress, you can have cases of miscarriages around stress. The thing is in medicine, we don't acknowledge chronic stress as a cause of infertility. I want to be very clear with this. And this is a problem we have in medicine again with the way we treat women. Chronic stress is a real thing. Let's agree on that. People live through chronic stress. People have stress for decades, biologically proven stress. That is a fact. True. We know that women experience stress at higher rates than men do. That is a fact, unarguable. We know that when people are under stress, it is very difficult to conceive. That's true. So these three things are facts that are known. With that said, the current medical paradigm does not acknowledge chronic stress as a cause for infertility. They just keep to things like, you know, male factor infertility, if they ever come to that, but they always go to first with like, you know, you know, anovulatory cycles or having PCOS or, you know, tubal, you know, they, they have all these things they would look to first, but they never say stress is the cause. Why that's important is because when you as a woman go to your doctors, if you develop the courage to finally speak out and not self silence and be vulnerable in that room with that doctor and share with them that you're not able to conceive and this is something that's hard on you. And your doctor doesn't find any biological reasons because he's only looking for that. And they say there's nothing wrong with you. That is gaslighting. That is the pure definition of it. And then what they do is they push you towards in vitro fertilization because that's the business model. So why I'm tiptoeing into this space and making sure I'm careful with what I say is because I want to offer you something better. And I want to advocate for you and tell you there is a better way of doing this and you deserve that. 